basically Egmont as it is is already a powerful <laughs> quite consolidated list you don't really need to add any spice to it to make it better you can just for the lols um, but in terms of like actual play I'm generally going to replace Reliquarian and just look to go wide swarm out make a big resilient board um, stuff like Zoetic Charm and Progenitor provides more than enough value and tempo and wincondism that you don't really need um yeah we'll just go with that you don't really need the bigger plays like i said that's not to say that you shouldn't do it because that stuff is fun but um something to be aware of in my opinion pinged me in the face is it wanderer it is wanderer wanderer is bad bad for us but we can ramp, and then we can play Kron, and then we can draw cards. So let's go and do all of those things. Uh, my opponent's probably not going to kill this. So we should play play all of our cards this turn. Right, because I can do Gravity Well like this. And then Rescue RX. Do I want the Rescue RX in the middle or at the side? I feel like getting the Crystal Wisp in the center is better, but I'm sure it can still attack from here. Whereas actually blocking my opponent off from the middle is pretty good. And we'll keep both of these cards because they're great. Nice. Uh, Zoetic Charm is so gross. It really is. A better late game spice would be Extinction Event IMO. So I, I actually initially had Extinction Event in my um, Eggmar deck for a long time. Two copies. And I just never cast it. It genuinely just doesn't come up. I'm sure you do that. Once had a guy send himself to extinction, giving me the W. That's hilarious. It is funny. Like, it's good memes, but it doesn't actually work very well, in my opinion. Just because you don't need it. Like, the 8 mana is such a huge cost, and it doesn't really add that much to the deck. So, I will... Let's see. Let's go for... Okeyan up here. Cloud Caller. Hell yeah. Look at this. Get rid of your blood tear. Come over here. Do I push face damage here now? We do have to kill Wanderer at some point. There is a chance we can just complete the quest and be done with it, but... Uh, let's see. Applying pressure is good, but we don't have a pressure hand. We have a value hand. Uh, I guess this is quite a bit of pressure. This is pressure, but no, no, these are value plays. But on the flip side, my life total isn't that relevant in the early stages and I do need to be able to kill my opponent before they do eventually overwhelm me it's like basically if I can if I reckon I can do this during the game ah go on. get you nice I've made it work oh it's not that the card is like bad necessarily I just never needed it or cast it oh no flash wanderer wrecked That's pretty good. Uh, okay. I think this is probably a Kron replace BBS kind of turn. Move Okeon down here. If the Wanderer punches it, then we just play maybe here because it body blocks slightly from various removal effects. This way. What's better? Yeah, sure. Frenzy. That is fine. Feels good. My stuff has plus and plus one as well. I have seen... Crazy shit with the Stampede. Yeah, Stampede's really good now, isn't it? It's a very silly card. No! Oh well. That's a bit awkward. I guess I could Cloud Caller it. Just to get that tempo. And then Embla the following turn. Can I do anything swanky with like... i play this. 
On the one hand, I feel like Cloud Caller can do better. On the other hand, I feel like clearing these is really important, so I should kill it. But this is really good as well. I could just back off, let this do its thing, but that doesn't seem great. No, I think having the, the aggression of the 4-5 is the stronger play. Uh, in which case, am I replacing this? I'm going to go to 5 mana, so... Yeah, okay. Nice. That's not bad either. We'll just kill there. Continue to apply pressure. Average reaction to Flash Wanderer. <laughs> I've tested a bit of my Eggmar, and in a few games I managed to cast Extinction twice. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> what did they do? Did they play, like, Circle of Desiccation? <laughs> yeah, I don't get me wrong, the card is fun. I just, like, kind of regret crafting mine, because I never play them. Purgatos, ooh. Ooh, Shiny. Alright, I guess I can punch Purgatos a couple times and then play Ambler and get a pile of walls. It's kind of alright. I can... Probably should just attack this. I don't really want to take, like, 10 damage from it, though. Oh, I should probably... I could Aspect of the Bear it. That's easier. It just goes away, then. Uh, plus... Oh, it feels kind of weak. I think I do just Grandmaster. Uh, so much better with the BBS though. Yeah, I'll save. I'll save it. Let's get rid of this, and then drop Sojo where it body blocks. And that's it. I could cast Aspect of the Bear on one of these as well, just to get it moving. Uh, oh god, I forgot that his plus one was one. Scary. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. Just do this now. It plays around Plasma Storm next turn. <clears throat> and gives me something else to bring in to help fight for board and pressure. I misexpressed myself, my bad. I meant that among all the games I played, I managed to cast Extinction a total of two times. Oh yeah, that's much closer to my experience. That was a bit of a waste of 1800 spirit. I usually win before Extinction because Egg Morph Fortitude. Exactly. Yeah, like Raptor, Progenitor, Zoetic Charm, Grit of Fortitude. Like, you just kill people. You just run people over. Uh, <laughs> the reaction is all Flash Wanderer. How fun and interactive. I think mean, you can kill it, I guess. <laughs> EMP? Yeah! <laughs> they buffed my Ursaplor, but that's hilarious. They did also play an 8 8. Oh, they backed off the tech. That's fine. I can play Jax now, I guess. Well, fine. It's not that good, but. Oh, this is rough, actually. So if I play Embler, there's still a small chance I can complete the quest just off that. Um, if I replace, if I play Jax, I'll still get three of them. That's not that good. If I replace this and try and find an aspect target, that's not all that good. Yeah, I think I'd do this and see if it works. I'll just run away otherwise. Why does this EMP look like a Teletubby? Oh my god, it does! I never noticed that. That's hilarious. It's because it's the, uh, it's one of the boss skins. Come on. No! Ah, oh, only three? Including this? That's terrible. Uh, wow, that's rubbish.
I'll just, yeah, I'll just, let's just get in and pressure. Because we have this next turn for a big play. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, nice. Oh, no, War Beast. I shouldn't have come this far forward. Should have left this guy back. Because the War Beast here is brutal. It is still only a one-off, so fingers crossed. Should have moved this here, maybe? No, because I can't step back far enough. Or I should have put myself here. No, I don't think I can afford to take eight. Ah, let's just hope they don't have it. This deck is so good. Wanderer Rag. It's just basically has no bad matchups as far as I can tell. Even Cataclysmic Fault isn't that good against it. It's because the BBS is so strong. I, I do love that they've had uh, the new boss fight skins. You know, it's four spaces to hope for the right token, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely that they're all different. But there's an outside chance. But I can still work with this, like... Interesting. What's that? I have no idea what that signifies. That is, they could have... Oh, sure. If I do this, and then we what kills this, we can trade here, clear this, play Rescue RX, or I can attack, attack, Pandora, that seems worse. Might replace this actually, although it is a token. <clears throat> I still only have two tokens in play with the 5-5. Five five. The 5-5 five five can also go face. I don't think I'm going to win through the oak here. I think I'm going to win with pressure if I win. That also works. Wait, does that mean... Can I still make... Can I play this? I don't want to just scoop to Plasma Storm. I think I, I, think I need to make the reactive play. Might as well do that, although it doesn't actually do anything. I'll force my opponent to spend the time to punch this. Your hamster is going nuts. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. He's very noisy sometimes. <coughs> you know what fault is good against? Midrange Wrath. You know what fault is good against? Anything. <laughs> with the word midrange in it. It's basically... It's kind of even with this. Like, the matchup, the matchup has not been as easy as I thought. And... It's a bit soft to, like, fast linear aggro, but otherwise, I wasn't complaining. Oh, that's good. Oh, yach. Well, we've still got a lot of cards, and we've got this. Like, now I guess I back off and play Jax, or maybe I don't. Maybe I just jam the Pandora. If I play Jax, they can still kill two of the tokens. Uh, this isn't doing a lot. Let's see if I can get some. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm just playing Pandora here. Did I have Thumping Wave to kill it with? Let's play it in safety because this card is so good. Might just get out tempoed here. Flying. Flying is not one of the better ones, but it's okay. Well, specifically, because I take 24 damage turn 7. Oh, yeah, because of Kanunkar. Yeah, yeah. That's always good fun. Right, so the the Ripper can reach this. But fortunately, Grid of Fortitude alone isn't enough to get it through it. Uh, <coughs> I might just take 
a pile of damage here. Although both of these have to stand on the same square to hit me, so that's good. They'll clash with each other. But if they do have the Greater Fortitude, that is 12 damage to my face, so I'd probably lose. Okay. Hopefully they're just trading. <clears throat> Still down to only three cards in hand, so we might be able to win this just on the grind. Their top decks are good, but they're going to be playing a lot of cheap minions. Oh, they're going to have, like, deep impact, actually. Who would have thought that the first ever revealed expo card would be twisting the meta, meta so much? Was that... Oh, sh That's bad. I mean, it's not that bad. <clears throat> but it's pretty bad. Am I dead? Nah, I'm still on 20. I say nah so confidently. This is lethal. Uh, but I can kill some stuff. Right, Jax is too slow now. That does nothing. So I can play this looking for some heal or other interaction. And then worst comes worst, I can just aspect something. Uh... Can I body block anything relevant? Probably not. I can make sure this square that the Ragebinder is on is blocked up. I believe yours was... Oh, from this expansion. Yeah, man, Kanunka is so sweet. I'm so excited to have an actual good spoiler card. Makes me really happy. Uh, which one do I get rid of? Probably actually the Ripper. <laughs> it's got Provoke, but it's in the wrong place. Half right. I wonder if you can take this clip out of context with some of those controversial dealers' opinions. No! <laughs> I might get flamed in Reddit posts that I can not read. Um, yeah, you are very good at clips, Mutix. I, I appreciate it. I genuinely do. It's actually quite flattering that you find stuff I say funny enough to clip. What opinions? Oh, just the fault is good against everything. It's hard. It's it's not controversial. <laughs> I, I highly doubt you'd... Uh, I, I imagine you'd struggle right now to find... Uh, duelist players who thought Fault was bad. Right, are we dead? Like, we're probably not winning this game even if I'm not dead this turn. I need to find some of them heals. Not killing the Pandora, though. Unless they have removal. Biokyan. I'll miss you. I have, like, War Beast or something. Okay. And that's bad, but not, like, that bad. I mean, they have enough stuff, though. I'm just dead, but... It's, like, on some level, it's mind-boggling just, like, how... Having ordinary, normal, otherwise uninspiring minions and giving them plus one, plus one is apparently so strong. But it is just down to the BBS being so good. Uh, well, this is a bunch of crap, isn't it? Well, it's all on you, all account. Let's see what we can do. Boundless Courage and Mana Death Grip. Those don't do a ton. I guess I can kill this with the Death Grip. Uh, that doesn't really protect me. Although, if Pandora spawns a minion here, that could actually work. Uh, I can clear this, I guess. I think this, this, I'm still dead, right? Like, there's too much stuff here, yeah, I'm just dead. 
Wow, that matchup is so hard. But this deck isn't very good at completing the quest. Like, if I can complete the quest, especially quickly, I can uh, actually get somewhere. What we've got here is basically Ramp Vanar that has one less hand slot. So I think I need some work just to make sure that I can actually get there on building up Oak. Uh, which probably means being a little faster, finding more different tokens I can put in, maybe more aspects, more walls. 